बिसमीम् अल्लाम एंड गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई एम मिस अरसिला जिशान फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम यू इन द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर सेकेंड लेक्चर लेट्स टेक अ क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर यू हैव लर्न दैट वॉट इज अ कंट्री can anyone tell me what is a country a country is a land that is controlled by a single government countries can be large or small definition of population so what is the definition of population a population is the number of living people that live together in the same place definition of border so can you tell me what are borders a line that separates two countries is called a border you cannot cross the border without a visa so can you tell me where is pakistan located yes it is located in asia asia is the biggest continent in terms of both size and population What are neighboring countries of Pakistan? Can you tell me what are neighboring countries of Pakistan? The neighboring countries of Pakistan are Iran, Afghanistan, China and India. Okay? Now, countries shares borders with Pakistan. So, which countries shares borders with Pakistan? Pakistan shares borders with iran in the west afghanistan in the northwest china in the northeast and india in the east to the south we have the arabian sea now in the second lecture we will cover the following topics capital of pakistan provinces of pakistan and their provincial capitals pakistan and its physical features crops grown in pakistan let's start our second lecture with the topic capital city of pakistan so my dear students can you tell me what is the capital of pakistan Hmm you have learned in the previous class also the capital city of Pakistan is Islamabad but do you know before Islamabad Karachi was the first capital city of Pakistan which was selected by Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah Islamabad is located in the capital territory which means this is where the government of pakistan has its offices our second topic is provinces of pakistan and their provincial capitals can you tell me how many provinces are there there are four provinces of pakistan and they are sindh punjab Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Repeat after me once again. There are four provinces of Pakistan, and they are Sindh, Punjab, Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and their provincial capitals are. The provincial capital of Sindh is Karachi. The provincial capital of Punjab is Lahore. The provincial capital of Balochistan is Quetta and the provincial capital of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is Peshawar and each province has its own culture like the people of Sindh speak Sindhi language they were Ajrak and Sindhi Topi eat delicious food the famous sports of sindhi culture is malakro 
Now, let's discuss our second province that is Punjab. Do you know what is the meaning of Punjab? Panj means five and ab means water. Kya ab Punjab ke maine jante hai? Panj means paanch aur ab ke maine hai pani. Punjab is the province in which five rivers flow. Punjab ek aisa suba hai jaha paanch darya bhehte hai. The language that people of Punjab speak is called Punjabi. The famous music of Punjab is Bhangra. Punjab is the most populated province of Pakistan. Our third province is Balochistan. Do you know by area Balochistan is the biggest province of Pakistan? Kya aapko pata hai ki area ke lihaas se Balochistan Pakistan ka sabse bada suba hai? The people of Balochistan are called Balochi. Their special food item is Sachi. They wear shalwar kameez and turban. Women like to wear frogs and shalwar. Most of the women do embroidery on clothes. Balochi culture is also rich in poetry and music. Now, our last province is Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. It is a piece of land surrounded by high mountains, covered with snow, pine forest and orchids of apples, apricot, peaches and oranges. The most famous beautiful lake, Safar Muluk, is also located here. The people of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa speak Pashto language. This province is also known as the Switzerland of Pakistan because of its beauty. Now, Gilgit Baltistan. On 29 August 2009, the northern areas were given the status of a self-governing territory called Gilgit Baltistan. The territory of Gilgit Baltistan is administered by the government of Pakistan and Gilgit is its main city. 29 August 2009 mein humare Pakistan ke jo northern areas hai unhe ek status diya gaya self governing ka jo ke Gilgit Baltistan kehlata hai aur Gilgit Baltistan ki jo main city hai wo hai Gilgit. The famous Hunza Valley is also located in Gilgit Baltistan. Let's discuss about our third topic that is Pakistan and its physical features. Can you tell me what are physical features? A natural feature on the earth such as water, mountains, Deserts, lakes, rivers, forests and plains are called physical features. Now let's see how Pakistan is blessed with all the physical features. In the north of Pakistan, we have high mountains covered with snow, deep valleys and thick forest from the west and to the east of pakistan we have hot dry sandy deserts and from the south and to the center of pakistan we have plains which means the flat areas of land the Great River Indus and its smaller rivers flow through this part of Pakistan. The land here is fertile. This means good crops can be grown here. 
and our last topic is crops grown in Pakistan. Crops such as wheat, sugarcane, cotton and rice can be grown in Pakistan. But wheat is one of the main crops of Pakistan. Let's take a quick review of today's lecture. In this second lecture, you have learned about the capital city of Pakistan, provinces and their provincial capitals about physical features of Pakistan and crops grown in Pakistan. Home assignment for lecture 2 What is the capital of Pakistan? How many provinces are there? Name them and also write their provincial capitals. Name the crops grown in Pakistan. Complete this home assignment in your social studies copy.